Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at the Kodak Instamatic 300 camera. Um, this camera was released in March of 1963 and uh, discontinued in June of 1966. Um, you can see this one is uh, a little bit dingy. Um, so we're going to see what we can do to... Uh, clean this guy up. I don't know how much we can really do to clean the, some of this up because it feels kind of bumpy up there. But we're definitely going to get all of this black plastic back to looking good. At least we'll try. Um, Instamatic 300 is pretty similar to the Instamatic 100 um, except it has this um, selenium photo sensor on it which uh, will give you a warning light in your viewfinder um, to let you know that uh, that you need to use the flash. Um, selenium is an element that uh, produces an electronic charge um, uh, based on how much light is hitting it so the little bit of the electronics in this camera um, tell it to uh, uh, put that warning light on if you need to use the uh, flash. Um, this camera, you would uh, wind it with this little knob here. There's a little switch here that as the film runs across it it gets ticked and then that allows you to um, push the shutter button here to have the shutter open and close. Um, it has a flash that pops up. This uh, uses the AG1 bulb which looks like this. It's a little bulb um, that has a a couple of little connectors on the bottom of it and some filament inside that is ignited and it would allow you to take a picture with the flash. This also has the handy eject button. Let's see if it works. It does. And then we'll shoot your little AG1 bulb out once you're done with it. This is the battery compartment. Put two AA batteries in here, one up, one down. It doesn't matter which way they go, as long as you have one base up, one base down. So, there you have it. It's a Kodak Instamatic 300. There's a little loop here for your wrist strap which I don't like so I took them all off my cameras um, all right let's get uh, let's get cleaning up first thing I like to do is bring out the old alcohol and the q-tip and we're just gonna clean the uh, the dirt and the dust and the grime off of this guy and uh, get him back to looking good. Let's see some of this old plastic that's kind of like a leather. I mean look at the difference there just in having it be wet. The alcohol from this side to that side and you can see this q-tip is already dirty. A lot of these cameras that I get have not been cleaned or taken care of or looked at for who knows how long. So for my collection, I like to go through and just give them a good cleaning. This is probably going to turn white again as it dries from the alcohol. You can kind of see it turn a little bit white again here as it dries off. That's okay. We're going to go through a couple processes here to get this guy cleaned up 
And looking good. Do our best to get this guy really nice and clean. We'll take some of this Q-tip off. Just used a razor blade to kind of get that a little bit smaller. So I get that guy in here. Get him looking nice as can be. All right. This guy is really dirty. I mean, look, this is still really white and cloudy. That's okay. What we're gonna do is get this so it's not white and cloudy anymore. We'll clean it really good, hard, pushing pretty hard with this alcohol first. Get another Q-tip. Just to make sure that any of that surface grime is off of there. Just whatever this had on it gave it real grimy looking appearance. All right, so there's the front. Let's hit the top now. This is the part where I said I didn't know how clean I could get it. Let's see, maybe this is something that will come off. I mean, you can see it is getting something off of there. So, keep going. I think some of this metal is kind of pitted. So we're not going to be able to really fix that, but we can get it as clean as we can get it. It'll still look pretty nice when we're done. forward here. I like to clean the top of these flash housings also. Because in these little grooves. I don't know if you can see, there's some little grooves in there. And those will, um, will get dirty too. This even has some of this white on there. Don't worry, we're going to get rid of all of that. Make it look nice. There's even some white spots here. Looks like a little bit of paint, but we'll find out. I like to go over every little bit. I 
I may buff this part just to see if that'll take any of that stuff off, but I'm not sure. Some of these are just scratches and they're gonna be in there no matter what you do. See the bottom has all this white. Clean that up too. I don't know what this is. Let's see if I can get that off. It's coming. I think that came off. Let's just go through and clean off all this dirt and grime from years and years. <clears throat> it's probably sat in somebody's camera bag in the back of their car or in their garage. I don't know where it was. So we'll get all this dirt as much as we can. This is a new Q tip. It's probably already dirty. Yeah you can see it's already dirty. has that clasp for the uh, for the wrist strap and these are the hinges for the door to open that looks like the uh, the top is a little bit loose I'll probably have to go in with some super glue after and get that guy stuck in there I don't like that, not one bit. See how that's coming off? Whole thing. Look at that. All right, so we'll come back to that. All right. So look at that. See how that white is just staying there? No matter how much I get it. While it's wet with alcohol, it looks great. But as it starts to dry, that white comes back. I don't know what causes that white on that plastic, but it does not look good for me. So we'll fix that in a minute. Let's do the other side. This has that white stuff too. Really get these metal parts clean, so they come pretty clean. This has the um, this side has the back release on it, and here's that door, the handle, not the handle, but the uh, the advancer for uh, for your next photo is on this side. This is just uh, denatured alcohol. I'll try to get all this all cleaned up. It has a little bit of rust hitting on it. All right, did I hit everything? I think I hit everything. As you can see, I got a lot of the dirt off, but it still looks like this. So what are we going to do to fix our Kodak Instamatic 300? Well, what we're going to use is a product that is made for auto detailing. It's made for uh, making your bumpers black. So we're going to try it out and see if we get the result that we want. Because it's supposed to renew 
all your old plastics. And this being a fake leather pleather setup, it should bring it all back to life and get rid of that white stuff that we're seeing on there. So as you can see already, I mean, look at that. This is that side with the white and this is our new plain side. So I'm going to take this, coat this on here. And this will also clean it a little bit too, especially when I'm using the, uh, the Q-tip. So if there's any spots that are like being kind of stingy and not wanting to change, I'll just give that an extra little rub on there, get any of that extra dirt off of there and get that cleaned up. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, now, hopefully, when I take my paper towel, I'm gonna wipe this off. It's going to stay looking just like this. And there it is. See all that white that I had on there? Took it off. Now we're looking real good. Do a tiny bit on that little button. Get that cleaned up too. Hopefully that keeps that white away and gives it some new life. Right. Let's move on to the top. You can see we have some of this white up here too. We're just going to give all of this the ones over. So wherever this was, it was having some reaction with the plastic. That the plastic just did not like. So we're going to go through and we're just going to clean it all with this compound. And a Q tip. We're going to make these blacks black. That is our goal. So I like to get this, um, the top of the fuse hole, or the flash holder also because it has these grooves in there that dirt gets into. Now this is the piece that's loose too. So I'm going to come back and get that guy glued back on. Now look at that. Looking nice, nice and shiny. So, what a difference that makes, huh? Just from what we had to right now, even. Storeroom new. Show floor new. All right, let's get this sign. They all have that white plastic oxidation on there. Let me get rid of that. Make it look like it was never there. So this will look really good on my display. Have a clean Q-tip. 
email or text back. That's I cleaned up. This top is going to drive me nuts. All right, we're going to do this side now. This is the slide with the release for the back plate where you can get the film put in. I'm gonna get all this white off of there. And look at that. Perfect. Still has a little bit down here in the bottom. Give that a nice hard rib. I clean off. Give this guy a little swish. And that guy's got a nice shine on him now too. Alright, what do we have left? Bottom. You can see just that white just coming right off. All that oxidation from the plastic. All right, there you have it. Okay, let's clean this glass off. Get ourselves a little bit of Windex. Make that nice. Make that nice. Get this guy nice. Maybe we'll just hit this guy too for fun. Get our little viewfinder in the back. Our little piece of glass, plastic back here. These guys a little wipe off. And there you have it. Now you can put it on your display or it's ready to sell. Till next time, have a great day.